Betty Padden. I've been carving, painting, and teaching for over 40 years. Today I want to show you how to paint a simple stone texture on your carving using oil-based paints. This is an unfinished carving that I made. It's a Halloween layered scene. We're going to paint the stone wall under the pumpkins and the lanterns. Okay, here are the materials that we're going to need. First of all, the carving. We're going to need some brushes. We need some thinner, a container of thinner, and a rag to wipe our paint brushes on, and the oil-based paint. We have white, raw umber, black, and raw sienna. You can't really see them here, but those are the colors that are on the square of tin foil. Put a little bit of thinner in the raw sienna. Since stones can be many different colors, we're just going to put this in a couple random places, washing it on, thinning it down with a little bit of thinner. And then what we're going to do is dip the brush into the raw umber and the white to create kind of a medium to dark grayish brown. And you're gonna put that all over these lower stones. Kind of using a lot of thinner. We wanna see some of the wood grain through that. So you're gonna to continue to put that raw umber on there. Kind of mixing it and blending it right in with the raw sienna. all of those stones in that way. Putting a lot of thinner on there to really to really flood the area. Some of them are lighter than others, some are darker. It doesn't really matter. You want kind of a, a lot of different textures and different colors and different shades on there because rocks are all different colors and different shades. I'm gonna come into the little deeper raw umber. I'm really going to flood it with thinner because I want it to get in every little crack and crevice. You're gonna come down the sides also and you can also paint the capstone. That's what this is. That capstone. You're going to paint that a little bit lighter. I'm putting a little more white into the raw umber. You can see it's kind of a puddle. You don't have to worry if you get some on the other stones. You can just blend that right in. These oil paints say take such a nice long time to dry that you have a lot of versatility with them. So I'm just going to... Okay, all the edges are painted. You're going to leave the bottom for later so that uh, you don't have to be touching a wet surface right now. Now we're going to take just some plain old raw, raw umber, thin it down a little bit, and paint it into the cracks of the capstone. So you notice I'm being kind of messy here. You can be messy. And then what I'm going to do is just take another brush and blend this. There's a little bit of thinner on this brush. I'm just going to tap it to blend that color out. I just want it a little bit darker in those crevices. And I'm just going to blend the rest of the paint right out here. So I'm just kind of tapping that border between the two colors to blend them. That a little bit more. So we want that, we're going to let that dry. Now we want to put darker tone in between all of the stones. We're going to take some raw umber, mix it with some black, and you're going to put some thinner in there to make it kind of a creamy consistency. Then we're just going to come.
I'm in between all of these stones with that dark color. Now the paint on the stones is still wet. We want it to be wet. Because what you're going to do is then use your blending brush in the thinner and kind of soften those dark edges so that they you can see that it's dark in the crevice but it blends out it's not a hard sharp line here so we just want to do that to the rest of the stones and blending them out as you go now you know this paint takes a long time to dry um, could be a day or two until it's dry enough to touch but it also allows you the ability to come back and blend wet paint into wet paint. So it's, it's a very carefree, easy kind of painting. Um, most of my students prefer to paint this way, and most of them are started as beginner painters. Uh, they find this a lot easier than any other kind of paint because it takes such a nice long time to dry. There's no rush. You don't have to rush anything here. So now I'm just going to soften the edges of all the dark crevice paint that I put on because I don't want a hard edge here. And then comes the next to the last step. We're going to do something called dry brushing here. Dry brushing is when you take a wide flat brush and you load it with a little bit of white paint and then you take, you load the brush like this with some white paint and then you go to your cloth and you take most of that paint off. You don't want much paint on this brush and what you're going to do is lay it down on across the stones. You're going to just gently let it run over the high points and see how it's picking up some really great stone texture here. That is really the secret, I think, to painting a great stone texture. We're gonna put a little bit on the capstone too. So you're just using just the weight of that brush and a, just a little bit of white paint on there. You can come back and do it again and again as you're seeing that I'm, that I'm doing. And the brush is fairly flat here. The last thing that you're going to do is you're going to go back to that dark mixture of raw umber and black and you're going to use your script liner. This is a brush that has very long thin bristles and I'm loading it with paint and I'm rubbing it on each side kind of swirling it through the paint and stroking it through the paint. What I want is that thin little chisel edge you see there and what I'm going to do with this is just paint in a few little cracks in the stones. Um, you want to be careful that you don't put in too many, that you don't make them too symmetrical. Uh, we might put one through the crack stone here, the capstone here. Maybe another one coming this way. I think we're putting none on that one. Uh, I'm going to put one in the middle of this guy, just kind of pushing down on the brush. Um, you want to put in a little bit of thinner. You want that creamy texture here. Um, so again, just be careful that you don't overload the brushes, the uh, stones. You just want a hint of these on some stones. Don't do all of them. And here you have the finished stones. With a couple little steps, you get something that looks like real stones. Please don't forget to visit my website, bettypadden.com, for more patterns and instructions and cutouts. Thanks.